Hey guys, welcome to a very special episode of Splashdown 2. This time, we are Insetic without Insetic. He doesn't know we're recording this. He yeah. accidentally gave us the link, so we're just gonna say, we just decided to go fuck it and just record without him. Um, because that's how we roll. That's how we do. He's always had this dream of doing Insetic without Insetic, and I think this will be a great, very, very early birthday present for him. Today um, your dreams come true. Yeah, it's it's Blank Tester and Blackout. Uh, we were going to have Jamie the D, but he's the feeling blogs. a little under the weather. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, everybody wish him well. Um, you see, I, I was going to... Uh, oh, yeah. Everyone wish him well. You see, I was yeah. going to call this um, the, the Attack of the Killer Bees, because both are... Names start with B's, right? But they also start with L's and A's, so we're like killer blahs. Yeah, the killer blahs. Yeah, I don't know if Insetic told you this, um, but the he's speeding up these load screens. They're like forty seconds long. <laughs> yeah, all of well, them. They're all like forty seconds long, and this track looks absolutely insane. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Why don't they do this in real life? You know, we, we've talked about this since the first Splashdown game. First of all, too much water. Uh, second of all, it would be too cool, you know? Too cool for school. Too cool for school, too cool for work, too cool for home. Uh, I don't recognize this band, do you? Uh, By the way, the bass boost in these that. headphones is blowing my fucking mind. It's yeah, like this no roar. This Wait, uh... Yeah, I have no idea who this is. Yeah. Sounds so, like the mangy skinny guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our <laughs> fictional bands. Um, so yeah, I guess this beginning part... I'm guessing this part is supposed to look like a person sitting cross-legged. Yeah, I love all... The, yeah. I love all the light uh, streaming off your character. Oh, that's when, when he's at top speed. Or, I think it turns yellow when you're at, like, top, top speed. But you're in, when you're in the red on that little speed bar down there, see, it, it yeah. turned off when he got out of the red. That's pretty cool. It's like you become a living lightsaber. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Did you hear that that's... crowd cheering? You know, last time Insetic said that I was going to be able to see... The crowds, and I don't see. Oh, I guess I see those two D people over there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they're out there in the bleachers. Yeah, really far I don't away. see any. I see THQ's sponsorship, and DQ. Dairy there Queen. it is. Yeah, there's Dairy little Queen. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Hey. sponsored the hell out of this segment. Hey, guess what, guys? If you go to Dairy Queen right now, you can get two foot long hot dogs for only five dollars. Is that really true? Yeah. Oh my god. I was down I was down at Dairy Queen and it's like two for five foot long hot dogs with chili and cheese and I was like, holy shit. That that's actually not a bad deal. Yeah, I I, I typically go in there with like, you know, a ten dollar bill and have four hot dogs. Holla holla ten dollar? Holla holla ten dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Three dollar bill y'alls. So so uh Incentic was talking shit on Dairy Queen uh I think two episodes ago. And, what about uh, yeah, great. I think I think Dairy Queen's food is fine. I think it's pretty damn good. Their their flamethrower is actually sort of spicy, as opposed to yeah. like that spicy chicken sandwich or whatever that you can get at other places. Like the uh, mini buffalo ranch chicken sandwich available at Jack in the Box. Oh, that shit is great. I haven't had Jack in the Box in forever. I don't think I've ever had Jack in the Box. They aren't really? in my area. You know, there, in was, my area. there was one in my area, in our area, when we were kids, and then it, like, moved away. And only after this, like, revival of Jack in the Box from a few years ago did any of it reappear. This music is pretty heavy. Yeah. And again, bass boost. What is a Jonah? Jonah? Well, one of those uh, barriers on that last race, there was like Jonah. Are you sure that's a Jonah? Yeah. I mean, show me. Well, point it out to me when we see it again. This one's called Hydra, which is a pretty generic name, honestly. It looks like kind <laughs> of like it's gonna be like a a Greek theme or something. 
That that's pretty cool. That's that would be pretty cool, yeah, if that's the case. Greek track sponsored by Greek yogurt. Yeah, the last I thought the last one was kind of generic, honestly. Yeah. Oh, this music is pretty cool too. Yeah, it's not bad. Like these barriers on the side, like some of them say Jonah. Okay, let me, let me see. I saw when he like maybe smashed that's, into him in the corner. Maybe it's one of the one of the yeah when he completely fucking fucked up. God, <laughs> yeah. that, God, that insane guy doesn't know how to play video games at all. He's just playing on easy. It's his secret. Yeah, that's his secret. Oh wait, no, he's playing on professional. I think. Professionally easy. Professionally easy. It's just easy for him, you know. Yeah. So. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like the path he's taking right now is just worse. It looks like it's just going under all of the action. Well, it looks like it's, like, longer than the path that they took. Yeah. Yeah. I do like that there were that they're racing in a coliseum. Yeah, no, that looks really cool, although the coliseum, coliseum. is absurdly large. Hey, you know, oh, uh, uh, there's still like a bunch of Dairy Queen sponsors all over the Coliseum. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Dairy Queen and I guess Jonah, whatever that is, sponsored the hell out Jonah, of this game. Jonah is a man who was swallowed by a giant fish. I guess that's he true. Stir- he started his own company. Oh, that's pretty cool, no- actually. Look at that. I have that. no idea what the fuck. Shablam, Shablam uses, has blue streaks when he's at top speed. And, uh, and, uh, Amun Ra had yellow streaks. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's color- Car- Whoa! Whoa! That was- Oh! He skipped! <laughs> oh, that was awesome! That was a wipeout, to oh, be remembered. Oh, that was fucking great. Imagine if that happened, like, in real life, how painful that would be. That would be incredibly painful. Just skipping across the water. Oh, when you said the word wipeout, that reminded me. For, uh, Jamie the D's thread, uh, the wipeout- uh, the Wipeout thread, they're doing a goon race, and I'm signed up, and I, I have to record that. I haven't recorded yet. <sighs> I'm no good at Wipeout. I'm no good at most racing games, extreme sports games. I, it takes me a long time to get used to the controls. Uh, I'm not good at any video game. Not any? Like, not even a like, little? Only, like, I mean, I guess I'm pretty good at RPGs, but... Right. I'm not good at games that require ref- reflexes. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I'm just. I mean, like, I won't. Uh, I won't say. Know. I won't. I won't be one of those guys who says Call of Duty requires. Requ- Call of Duty requires no skill, but it certainly doesn't require the kind of skill I have. Uh, <laughs> I'm awful at Call of Duty. Um, I'm pretty bad at Halo too. Uh, I mean, Halo also. I mean, like you know, I, I can beat like most newer games, but. So, so many of the newer games nowadays are more, like, cinematic than they are about actually challenging you. Yeah. I found. Like, I games think... like that, you know, but, like, older games, you know, like, old platformers and stuff like that, those games are hard, and I cannot beat those. Well, see, the thing is, like, I think the reason why is because, uh, the... Back then, there wasn't, like, I don't remember where I heard this. Wow, this music is really... Yeah. Yeah. Depth charge. Um, you know, I don't remember where I heard this, but, like, back then they had a lot of games that had, like... Or, back then there weren't a whole lot of rules to, like, game design. So, you know, somebody had to come up with an idea, and essentially the idea was you would make a game that, because... There's, I mean, in traditional games, like, uh, you know, board games or sports, it, there's usually two teams. And the game developers would look at it as the two teams being the player versus the computer. And the computer, in that sense, should have a possibility of winning. And it should be about equal to the player. So, a 50-50 chance of losing is still really hard. Oh, yeah. You know? Like, the game design was built around, and I mean, you know, I remember, uh, I don't really, I don't really like Ego Raptor's videos all that much, but I did see his sequelitis bit about Castlevania, and I remember he said that, uh, 
back then they had to make fear through the gameplay rather than the visuals or the sound. And that's how they, like, the design of the levels in the first Castlevania uh, were so intricate and difficult and required so much strategy that they, the gameplay itself was scary. And that's pretty awesome, that right there. I love those turny things, whatever they're called. This is a pretty uh, funky track with yeah. green and purple. Yeah, this is this is. I, I, I've liked. I like the music in this bit. I mean, this video has had a, a couple of pretty good tracks. Download the Splashdown Two soundtrack today. Yeah. No, don't download it. Buy it. Go buy it. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, uh, yeah. Buy it. Uh, yeah, buy it. Wink, wink. <laughs> I did the double eye wink. I feel like I've heard this song so many times before. Yeah, but I can never That's what I was remember. Thinking. I was trying to. I can never the remember the name of songs that like I don't listen to on a regular basis. Like, and I only ever listen songs. to like a few songs over and over because I'm not really big into music either. Ugh. Look at this shit. Two, three, and then four. Ah, oh, so cool. Wait, is this underwater? Um, I think it is. Yeah, it, it is. Look oh, that is fucking cool. Because this Wait place a second. is called Depth Charge. Huh? Wait a second. If this is underwater, and there's water inside the underwater tank... They're leaking! Oh, God! Actually, I have no idea what I, where I was going. I don't know where you were going with that either. THQ, man. I, I swear to God, I'm going to, like... As soon as I hear from Insetic what track this is, I'm gonna feel stupid. Cause I've heard this like so many Oh man. Oh. I think two oh. good launches in one video. Ah, oh, that is brilliant. Good launch count too. Yeah, yeah see the launch. killer whales swimming around? Yeah, that was awesome. Unless they were flying killer whales. You know it's funny, uh I knew uh I think like some people got really offended by the term killer whale, did you know that? Really? They were like, killer whales are not killers, they just have to eat. They should be called orca whales. Well, I guess that's true. Yeah, but killer whales just sound so badass. Whoa, speaking of that badass. That was so badass. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. The one time Insetic doesn't know that we're, we're recording, and he goes above and beyond. Night Strike! Night Strike sounds like something at Bush Gardens. That sounds so cool. Yeah. Night Strike sounds this... like the name of a sniper rifle in, like, Borderlands. This is a cool game. This is a very cool game. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of character to it. I like it. Splashdown 1 was kind of boring. Yeah. But this game definitely takes, takes where Splashdown 1 left off and just soars with it. Runs with it. it. You know, I, yeah. I think that's very, that's very cool. More like it swims with it, right? Oh, dude, look at how complex Night Strike is. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't even tell what you're supposed to be doing. I don't even it. know which direction you're supposed to go. Freeze the hell out of that career. Do not remove memory card. Alright, 26% unlocked. We're not going to unlock everything, because that would be stupid. Yeah. Well. I like this epic music on the uh, title screen. Yeah, no, this is so... This is this... I don't know if it's the same music, but it's similar music to that stuff that was on the Gold Rush level. Oh, dude, that was so cool. It's just, like, so... I don't know, like... It's got it, it this really makes, good atmosphere to it. Yeah, it makes it feel like you're about to embark on something special. Well, there you go, Insetic. And there you go, everybody else. That was Insetic without Insetic. Once again, this is Blank Tester and Blackout. And the two blahs. The two blahs, you know, Attack of the Blahs, uh, you know, coming to theater soon. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Yep. Hope, you, hope you enjoyed. And I hope uh, I hope you guys didn't miss Insetic too bad. He'll be back next video, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Keep it real.